I've been struggling with this feeling that the creative work that I do here has no benefit to society. I come from a family whose work has always produced something tangible. You see, two generations ago, my mom's dad was a farmer and my dad's dad a small business owner. As for my dad, he was also a small business owner and my older brothers have followed in those same footsteps. The potatoes my mom's dad grew fed mouths. The kitchen countertops my brothers produced helped make someone's dream home come true. So naturally, my understanding of the relationship between work and value has looked something like this. You see, the idea behind tangible work having value is that you know the result of your labor is being put to use. But as for me, my virtual content cannot be touched. I can't put it in your mouth for food or put it in your kitchen to create a cozy home. And if it has any impact at all, I can't see that. The problem with all of this is that I'm not okay with a life where my work doesn't have a positive contribution to society. So there's an idea that has helped me navigate this. And that's what I want to share with you today. Humans have a range of needs from tangible to abstract. I see society as a series of jobs or roles that help us fulfill these needs. So to start, the diagram consists of a series of concentric rings. Each of these rings is home to a category of jobs. So why are there multiple rings? Well, the distance of each of these rings from the core matters. The closer you are to the core, the more the roles on that ring fulfill tangible human needs. The further away you go from the core, the more the roles fulfill abstract needs. So starting with the first ring, in the center here, we have things that are most basic to our survival, like food, shelter, and waste collection. And what falls on the first ring are the occupations that provide us with these basic needs. Things like farmers, construction workers, and garbage collectors. The second ring represents connectivity and access to the tangible needs of the first ring. So on this ring would fall occupations that ensure that goods get to where they need to go and that people have the ability to access those goods. These would be occupations like transportation workers, store workers, architects, engineers, urban planners. On the next ring away from the core, we get into this weird fuzzy transition zone where we're moving away from essential needs towards nice to have needs or wants. On this ring, I say are business owners. Now I know that's really vague because businesses can take all sorts of forms and can provide anything along the spectrum from tangible to abstract. So there is some overlap with other circles here. To give an example though, this could be the kitchen countertops my brothers make, which are not a necessity for living, but are nice to have. Now in the next ring away from the core, we start to get into abstract territory. This ring encompasses rulemaking and knowledge transfer. The work here is primarily thought-based, yet has direct implications on how society functions. The roles that fall along this ring would be things like lawyers, researchers, teachers, professors, and politicians. The outermost ring represents the most abstract of our needs, such as our mental, emotional, and spiritual needs. On this ring fall artists, entertainers, and religious clergy. Now, I want to make clear that this is not a ranking of roles by importance. Although let's be real here, the real MVPs are the people in that first ring, because if we can't survive, none of the outer rings would exist in the first place. All of our human needs from the most tangible to the most abstract are valid and we deserve to have them met. For me, in the middle of a hard day, I need music to escape to another world for a few moments. And so to go back to the example of me and my family, my mom's dad would be here, and my dad's dad, and my dad, and my brothers would all be here. And I am out here. And that's okay. Because the work I do, I have come to understand, has a place in society. Whether that's a form of entertainment, inspiration, or just getting someone to think about something they haven't thought about before. Now, I want to make something very clear. This way of thinking about society is just a tool. What it is not is immunity from me ever feeling useless again. In other words, I know I've made a video about this and it may seem like I have this all figured out, but I am still human and I can't control what I feel. I guarantee you that tomorrow I will run into the same feeling of uselessness again because I run into it literally every single day. 
The only difference between now and before is that I've spent time reflecting on this and I now have a way of thinking, this diagram, that I can refer back to to think rationally about my work and to be reminded of its value.